smell sweet. I gotta put my nose right in them. Oh, oh, they're so nice. Oh, the bees like them too. I like to eat those rose, rose petals sometimes. They're edible. Oh, that breeze is delightful. You should, we should sing and make a joyful noise. Okay. To the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord of the earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord of the earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a loud noise and rejoice. Sing praises. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sure, where am I coming in? The loud voice? Loud voice? You, you start me up and come in when you're ready. Uh, okay. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. 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 To the Lord. Good job. That is a good job to play the guitar. Uh, <laughs> we lost it though. All right. Oh, that was really good. Woo. Well, the guitar parts changed too, and so it really got confusing for me. Oh. Uh, All right. Put the dirt book down. This Let's is where. This is how you can do four rounds. See. Right, and I came in there at number two. You did great. You did great. Ooh. That's a fun song. But it was challenging. I have a poem was not for you. Up to the challenge, oh yeah, I did you my were. Best. You did great. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. You read yesterday about a cow. Yeah, but today I want to read Ooh, about, this about a the honeybee wind or a rose. The wind. The wind. The wind. This is a nice little. I saw face. you toss the kites on high and blow the birds about the sky, and all around I heard you pass the lady skirts across the grass. Oh, blow a blowing all day long. Oh, wind that sings so loud a song. I saw the different things you did, but always you, yourself, you hid. Hmm. I felt you push, I heard you call, I could not see yourself at all. Oh, wind a-blowing all day long, oh, wind that sings so loud a song. Oh, you that are so strong and cold, oh, blower, are you young or old? Are you a beast of field and tree or just a stronger child than me? A oh, wind a blowing all day long, a oh, wind that sings so loud a song. I love the wind, do you? Oh, up sometimes, to a certain point. Sometimes. Up to a certain point. Yeah. And well, it depends whether it's going down the runway or across the runway. Yesterday. Oh, that's true. And it was like well, bumpy. Friday, when I was flying my plane up to Newport, boop, boop. it was bumpy. But when I went to land, the wind was 14, gusting to 20. Boop. Crosswind. So that made it a real challenge. It does. But I was glad I stayed home. I was glad she was too. Oh. Not because I didn't want her along, but it would have been a tough day for he her. He would have had to hear me complain the whole time. So that wouldn't have been very fun. I would have turned down her volume. Yep. That's right. He can do that. Am I reading or you? I can. What, what do you, do you want to read? I just asked a question. Why don't you read? Then you'll stay awake. Not always true. That's true. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Genesis 3.18. Thanks for the thorns. That's the title. Have you ever walked through the woods and tripped over a thorny vine or tried to make your way through a tangle of thorn-covered blackberry brush? Have you ever attempted to pick a delicately beautiful flower only to be painfully pricked by thorns that were all over the stem? I actually picked her one of these this morning and I've got little thorns in the tips of my fingertips. I'm sorry. But I thought it was worth it. How many times have you 
bumped into a cactus plant here in Vermont and gone through the agony of pulling out the many spines. Probably you haven't had that experience, but no, multiflora but roses. blackberry bushes, raspberry bushes. And we roses. know those, and roses. Then there are plants such as nettles. We've got those that have thousands and thousands of needle sharp hairs covering their leaves and stems and even a poisonous substance so that if you merely brush against them, the pain can be intense. That is true. And you use this stuff, you crush it, and rub it on nettles if you happen to get it. And it ha helps to knock down the stink. Show them better than that. Well. Give them a good look at a leaf. Okay. It's a big wide leaf. It's, it's a, always in the grass. It's called plantain. And um, and it works pretty well. For nettles. For nettles. Take it and crush it though. Just rubbing it doesn't do it. Yeah, it's the really, juice from the plant juice. that's helpful. So. Thorns hurt and we don't like them a bit, but Benjamin Franklin once said that the things which hurt instruct. What can we learn from these nuisances that torment us sometimes? Do I'm I, gonna am I a help. nuisance I'm gonna that help torments you? Cheddar here for a second. Oh, we got the dogs that want to come out too. Well, you may have noticed that blackberries seem to taste better when you go through the difficulties of picking them yourself. Roses seem even more desirable when seen in contrast to the thorns. And a cactus flower seems so much more delicate and lovely when perched atop its prickly standard. I've seen those in the desert. If you've never been out west, you ought to go see those, those cactus. God knew that if man's life was too easy, he wouldn't sufficiently appreciate its joy. So he allowed problems such as thorns when he cursed the ground for man's sake, he even names thorns. Another important fact about thorns and stickers is that plants that have them get left alone. In some cases, this is good for the plant. A desert plant, for example, might need all of its few leaves just to produce enough food to keep it growing. If deer could nibble as easily on it as they do the grass that grows continuously, the plant would soon lose all of its leaves and die. It's also true that when we act like a thorn, other people are more likely to leave us alone. Ooh, do you know prickly people? Mm, I've met a few. Prickly people? Oh, good thing you're not one. <laughs> <laughs> not always. <laughs> the, this works two ways, however, so when you find you don't like someone because he is prickly and thorny acting, remember that thorns often protect something beautiful if you're willing to look for it and Ooh. brave the Pain. That is such a good lesson. That's so true. You know, every behavior has an origin. When people are prickly, there's a reason for that. And usually it's fear. Yeah, that's usually true. People are afraid. They've either been hurt or they just don't know. That's true. So, don't be prickly just to be beautiful. Prickly, prickly. You can be beautiful without prickles like tulips. Like you. And buttercups. Yeah. And dandelions. Yeah. And clover. Peonies. Cleomies. No, they have little, they have pokies. They have thorns? Cleomies? They do have little pokies. What about a stilby? Nope. Would you like to pray? Petunias. Geraniums. Nope. nope. Let's pray. Our Father in Heaven, thank you for the thorns, I guess. They instruct us. And we learn those lessons well. Lord, Lord, we look forward to the earth made new where all these sorts of things are gone. But as we have these thorny experiences in our lives, may we learn those lessons. We know that circumstances can be our teachers if we will allow you to use them through your spirit and through your angels to guide us to live better. Lord, oftentimes we bring our own thorns into situations. Our own choices get us in trouble. Lord, thank you for your grace and your love. We pray this prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Don't forget to make a joyful noise today.